The United States economy continues its positive momentum with the latest jobs report. We're going to break it down right now. The U.S. employers added 214,000 jobs in October, and that marks nine straight months where at least 200,000 jobs were added. If you're keeping track, that's the longest stretch since 1995, and it's also the steadiest pace of growth in nearly 20 years. Now, the rise has also pushed the unemployment rate down to 5.8%, and that rate hasn't been that low since 2008 in July. Businesses across the board saw growth, but lower-paying jobs had the largest increases. The economy is also building momentum. It's been growing at a 4.1% rate over the past couple of quarters. Now, at first glance, these jobs numbers look good, but the United States government is actually having a hard time attracting young people to work. The reason? There's lots of them. Sometimes a, a confusing, prolonged hiring process and wages that may not be as high as some people would like and the fact that some view work as plain old boring. Sean Calebs has more. Zachary Whitlow is living his dream. A recent college graduate with a history degree, he spends his days as a U.S. National Park Ranger working at Fort Washington just outside the nation's capital. Shoulder, arms. What he really enjoys right shoulder shift is literally getting into character support arms as a Union soldier during the U.S. Civil War era. This is honestly the most fulfilling job I've ever had. And I just really hope that I can get, you know, a, a young person interested and hopefully inspire them to, you know, maybe be a park ranger someday, you know just inspire them to pursue what they're passionate about. The United States federal government needs help luring young people into its workforce. The most recent statistics show a paltry 7% of federal employees are under the age of 30, the smallest number in nearly a decade. The concern is a federal brain drain. Without fresh young faces with fresh thoughts, the U.S. could lag further behind other nations in the digital age. There is, in a sense, a retirement crisis facing the federal government. Within two years, nearly one-fourth of the federal workforce will be eligible to retire. The U.S. unemployment rate is now at 5.8 percent, the lowest it's been since July of 2008, before the big recession. Still, the federal government is having a tough time attracting young people. Mark Hemrick of Bankrate follows consumer and hiring issues in the United States, and he says the government has its work cut out. It has not been the stable, uh, highly rewarding place to work uh, for the U.S. government uh, that it was for many years. Back in 1975, more than 20 percent of government workers were under 30. Today, statistics show less than 3 percent of engineering students and an anemic 1 percent of business students want to work for the government. Some say the best hope is to cling to bright spots. If there's anything I love to do, it's, 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 you know, talk about history. And begin casting a wide net to avoid getting blown away by the private sector and advances by other nations. Sean Cadlebs, CCTV, Washington.